Hey everybody, it's Mother's Day. How exciting is that? What makes a great mom? It's just too big a list to even come to come close to getting. But when I think about my mom, I think about my wife, I think about my grandma, both my grandmothers, I think about prayer. I know I talk about that a lot, and we're in a series on prayer. Interesting, isn't it? I think prayer makes a great mom. I think it makes a great mom to be also. And I think those prayers go right to God the Father. In fact, there's a story in the Old Testament that talks a little about this. There's this, is this guy, and he has two wives. Yeah, look at me. And it happened a lot in the Old Testament cultures. God wasn't for it. He didn't like it. But guys did it anyway. Shocker. I know. And I don't know why they did it. I think it's a terrible idea. You know what the curse of that is? Two mother-in-laws. Yeah. Anyway, but that's what they did. And so this guy has one wife who has all kinds of children. And back then, it means, that means big success. He has the other wife who doesn't have any children. She's barren. But he loves the one who doesn't have any children. He doesn't even really like the one who has as many children all that much. The one who doesn't have any children, her name's Hannah. And the other woman is constantly just kind of just sticking in Hannah's face. You don't have any children. Look at all the children I got. Because back in old times, apparently, the ladies could be a little catty, a little bitey, a little spiteful. I'm so glad we got beyond that. But it happened back then. And Hannah never responded to that. She never got upset. She didn't try to shoot back at her because Hannah was a person of prayer. And so she went to God, and here's what her prayer was in wanting to be a mother. It said it like this. O oh Lord Almighty, if you will look down upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son, then I'll give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime as a sign that he has been dedicated to you, O oh Lord. That's 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. You should look it up. You should read it. So you know what? God hears this prayer, and God blesses her, and God gives her a son. You know what his name is? Samuel. And because her heart was so honoring towards God, not only said, Lord, answer my prayer, give me a son, but I'll give that son back to you. She raises that son, and then she takes that son and offers him back to God. It's an amazing moment. So he goes on to, by the way, change the world. He really does. In fact, he's the one that anoints the first king of Israel. Then he anoints David, who will be king of Israel, who, by the way, leads to the lineage of Jesus, the Messiah. And if you look at one of Hannah's prayers, you might see what a lot of scholars believe is a prophecy of the coming Messiah. And he goes on to change the world. But some of you think, but how great of a Mother Day prayer is that? She gets a kid, but then she has to give the kid away. She got to raise him, and she honors the Lord by giving him back to her. But then God gives her more kids. In fact, three more sons and two daughters. <laughs> yeah. Careful what you wish for. And so now she gets blessed a whole bunch. Why? Because she was a woman of prayer. And it means a lot to me because that was my grandmother. My grandmother, my grandpa was a bootlegger. My grandmother's parents were the ones he was in business with. She got very sick, was going to die. She had three small children. She went to God and said a prayer much like it said, Lord, if you will heal me, I'll raise my children to honor you. That's exactly what happened. My grandpa became a Christian. That's a whole story. Those three kids went on to be pastors. Their kids went on to be pastors. The grandkids are now pastoring. But it came out of a mama's prayer. So whether you are a mom or a future mom, let me just say your prayers go right to the front of the list. Take time to pray. Take time to believe and have faith. And mostly remember to give back whatever you get to God because then he multiplies it and blesses you more. Happy Mother's Day. Hope to see you soon. God bless.